Six stars is the perfect attack in Builder Base 2.0, but it is important to understand how to gain loot in order to upgrade your villagers and how to gain trophies if you want to push through the 42 new leagues in the update. All of the ins and outs will be explained, and this follows on from our video yesterday introducing the new hero, Battlecopter, and all of the troop abilities. You understand that you have to three star both villagers, but how does that play out in the new system. With the original builder base, you were limited in the amount of loot you could get to just three loot attacks per day. Anything after that, well, nobody wanted to do it. You just pushed trophies, so it wasn't rewarding to play. That has been removed with this update. Every attack you can earn loot from. Now, there is a couple of elements to unpack here. Let's first discuss the types of stars in the new builder base, and then how that translates to loot per attack, and also your star bonus. Which, by the way, you will want to complete each day because it gives you a huge boost. The first stage that you can attack, you can obviously gain up to three stars and these are represented as bronze stars as a builder hall one through five the perfect attack is three stars from builder hall six and above you then have to attack the second village as part of the same attack in order to try and gain another three stars which in the second village are represented as silver stars to me it's pretty straightforward the bronze and silver stars are just visual representation of stage one or stage two it's just nice to have them different so you can clearly see if you only gained four or five stars as you'd still be able to see the bronze star underneath. Whether it's a bronze star or a silver star it counts as one star so you can gain up to six stars per attack towards your star bonus. You can notice the number seven on the attack button to the bottom left. This is not how many attacks you have left that day it is how many stars are required to achieve your star bonus. After that you can continue attacking in order to achieve loot. The star Star bonus varies in the amount of loot and stars required depending on the league you are in. We are going to talk about how the trophies work within the new builder base, but sticking to the star bonus, it will vary between 7 and 12 stars required depending on your league, but obviously the more stars required and the higher league, the more star bonus you will actually achieve. That is both gold and elixir. When it comes to attacking, you only earn builder gold. Now we will still be able to get Builder Gold and Elixir from the Trader Shop, the Season Pass, various different events. But with the removal of Versus Battle, it now acts very much like the Legend League, and you gain loot from both attacking and defending. You can attack as much as you want, but every attack you perform, your base is opened up to a defense. Even if you are online, somebody else might attack you. Since it is not Versus Battle, as soon as soon as you finish an attack, you can go straight into another attack. No more waiting of your opponent deploying all of those sneaky archers. You can just play as much as you want. If you're quick, you might get to the stage where you have done, let's say, six attacks and your base still needs to take six defenses. It's just waiting until someone in your trophy range matches against you, even if this is when you are offline. Remember, you do not lose loot in the builder base, though. That means that it is actually a good thing that for every attack you have to take a defense because attacking gets you build a gold, defending gets you build a elixir, so you want those defenses. The amount of loot you earn again does depend on the league you are in, which I feel the amount is very generous as you move up. You can quickly see how much you could earn from this next attack from the start attack screen pressing the eye icon next to your league. In the lower leagues, even if you are a builder hall six and above and could earn up to six stars, you are limited limited to achieving loot from only three stars. This is presumably to try and decentivize higher level players from dropping to those lower leagues. It's actually only 1500 trophies, the Copper League, where you can start to earn loot for up to six stars. The amount though, not that great when you compare it to the higher leagues, which I will show you in a moment, but let's use this for the explanation first. Obviously a zero star attack, you don't get any loot, you wouldn't 
lose any trophies for a zero star attack you just wouldn't gain any but obviously your base would then be open to a defense where naturally you would probably lose trophies sticking to the loot side of things for the moment though it obviously scales up depending on the stars you earn zero through six in the copper league the highest jump per star is between two and four stars this is not representative across all of the leagues in the higher leagues going from a five to a six star gives you a higher jump but i'm not going to go over every individual league the most stars you earn the more gold you achieve the more stars you prevent your opponent from getting the more builder elixir you achieve with obviously a zero star defense being the best and giving you the most builder elixir i do quite like that no matter what the defense even in these higher leagues you get builder elixir even if you don't defend at all you get a six star perfect against you to reach the highest league of diamond it is 6200 trophies i like and feel it's quite important that there are a lot of leagues the player base will be split from builder hall 2 to 10 and the amount of loot earned is not based on the strength of your opponent or the amount of resources they have since you do not lose loot in the builder base it is only based on the league you are in and the amount of stars you earn or prevent your opponent from getting obviously since you can just continue to attack players again and again you gain the gold as you attack when you take a defense the elixir is deposited into your elixir cart from here you can see who attacked you the result and how much builder elixir you received you could also watch the defense from here but you need to enter the elixir cart to collect any of your defensive rewards there is a cap on how much can be stored the defensive cap itself is based on your builder hall level not the league you are in presumably this is so that you can't just stash 20 million builder elixir if you are maxed and then when an update drops you're good so make sure you are checking and collecting this regularly when it comes to trophies in the new builder base it does act very similar to legends league in that the amount of trophies earned increases with every star that you gain up to the six stars but there is also a small increment in the amount of trophies based on the percentage as well this is mirrored when it comes to defense the release notes also state that the trophies available for attacking are based on on the attacker's builder hall level whilst the trophies lost on defense are based on the defender's builder hall level that to me says you are literally just matched with anybody in your league it is dependent on your builder hall level as to how much you will gain or lose it is not dependent on the difference in trophies between you and the person you attack or the person that attacks you it does appear that much like the legend system 40 trophies is the maximum you can gain or lose per attack the sneak peek for tomorrow's sneak peek reads that we all know Builder Hall 10 is coming. That's what you're going to see. But we also know you have a burning desire for shocking revelations. Be sure to subscribe. I will be sharing all of that with you tomorrow. And if you want to see the new troop abilities alongside the Battlecopter Hero, I have that video linked on your screen. Enjoy the rest of your day.